Hey y'all, this is Pretty Maniac. Well, welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome back to True. Before we get started, go ahead and like and subscribe. So trying to get to my thousand subscribers. Yes, I'm drowsy or whatever. I just started a third shift job. Get off at 6 a.m. So I'm just waking up. That's another reason why these braids are like this. Because I'm not going to be worried about myself working in the middle of the night. Anyway, this video is about how I believe I created a happy baby. Um, It's all because of epigenetics. Before I found out I was pregnant, I came across this video that I'm going to put in the um, description box below. And it explained to me how important the environment is when it comes down to my baby. Not talking about, you know, what you eat and everything. Yeah, that's included too, but the actual environment that you are in whether it's a abusive environment you know just crazy environment a good environment it it all depends and it definitely affects your baby um if you don't know what epigenetics is it's definitely the study of how your environment not nature versus nurture but the conscious part of your your um development your dna and everything how it affects your dna and um the first time i came across this was years ago about how why black people are the way they are now why they're afraid of certain things why they react the way they do and it's because of how our great greats or whatever whoever of your line were slaves how they the traumatic experience they experienced they passed that down they passed that down it's not as bad as it was but we still have you know things where we're known for being afraid and around white people period not just because we were taught be careful we automatically are born like that when it comes down to older adults and stuff like that, like kids, you don't, we don't really think about it, but I can remember growing up, me automatically being kind of nervous around certain people, um, in certain situations. I didn't understand why I was nervous about certain situations. I was not taught to be nervous about that situation. I won't say people that, but there's certain situations where like, I'm the only black person in the room. I don't know why it's because I just had this nervous energy of being a different one, which also comes from the traumatic experience, I assume, that my ancestors went through. But anyway, when it comes down to the baby, I just ignore all the negativity. I got myself out of negativity. I meditated. I have a playlist on my channel. I have a playlist on YouTube that was um prepared for baby or something like that and it had all the meditation things that i did um the things i listened to in my sleep i didn't watch any tv going to bed i didn't listen to tv while i was asleep i didn't hear any of that i did not bother with my phone there's a lot of things that i like chopped off like still to this day when i wake up i don't touch my phone for maybe an hour or two and i don't allow me and my baby to go to sleep listening to anything on the TV. We might listen to like certain sounds and stuff while we're asleep. Certain hurts, stuff like that that's going to kind of help us recuperate in our sleep and things like that. But yeah, that's pretty much what I did. And I ignored a lot of ignorant things when it comes down to my, my, um, well, my biological, well, his biological father and his shenanigans with his girlfriend and things like that um i didn't allow anybody to talk about him while i was pregnant i didn't care you know if anybody did get rowdy around me like when my sister or somebody got into it with each other my sister or something like that i made sure i left and i walked around somewhere else and focused on the trees and everything because it was warm and stuff outside then so i could do that thank god um the guy that i ended up with well, that I'm with now, um, we've been together since like five, five, yes, yeah, about five months. Even then, he knew my, he understood my belief and everything going in, and he made sure I had a pretty happy, 
situation the whole time. We didn't argue, anything like that. Um, but yeah, it 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 definitely solidified my belief in it when my baby was born. He did not cry. Um, if it weren't for my mom, I guess her energy, uh, how excited she was, it was a little too powerful for him. He kind of screamed, and that's why you know, if it weren't for that. The teacher, not the teachers, I'm a teacher, sorry. If it weren't for the hat, <laughs> that's probably what I have slapped him a couple of times. Um, the first time he had a hearing test, you know, they do that when the baby's born. He moved so much that they weren't able to get it done. Um, so for a while, I thought my baby was deaf because he was not, like you could slam a book on the floor beside him and he would not flinch in his sleep. Most babies wake up screaming. Most most families have to walk around eggshells when they have a newborn. We didn't. Dogs barking everything. We didn't. Um, he finally got his hair and test. We found out he wasn't deaf. He was just he, the doctor actually said he's just really good at ignoring things around him. Exactly what I did when I was pregnant. Um, and speaking on. Oh, yeah, speaking of how the things that I did while I was pregnant, I did a lot of hands-on, crafty, innovative things. He does that. Um, what else? It's, it's just a lot of things that it's kind of weird that he does. Now, that kind of, I think back and be like, you know what? That shit actually worked. And I would recommend anybody. I'm not saying it's something that you... I guess a one, two, three step process, but anybody, first time moms, and this goes for the guys as well. Make sure that the guys are in a good place, especially if you're planning a pregnancy. Make sure your guy's in a good place. Everybody's happy before you make this baby and you continue that um, that environment while the baby's being born. And after the baby is born, I would recommend that for everybody. He's a good baby, and I'm happy and proud for the first time. <laughs> for the first time, kid. Pretty damn, pretty damn good. So, yeah, go ahead and like and subscribe. Don't forget to go ahead and check out that link in my bio. I'm still trying to get to 1,000 subscribers, people. Please help me. I'm trying to get there. I know I'm not consistent too much, but I'm trying. I guess I'm trying to come up with things that everybody don't do day to day. Um and fit it in the schedule of first time mom schedule you know that's kind of hectic and doing my craft business doing my credit repair um doing hair and now i got a full-time night shift job it's crazy but yeah stick it out with me i promise it'd be worth your while if you just subscribe thank you love you